And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth. And the angel was given the key to the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were dark by reason of the smoke of the pit. Yes? I used to get such a kick out of watching you work up your sermons. And now? It's different. I see the stage, I see costumes. It's show business, isn't it? Well, it's the only way I know to uh, reach people's emotions. I haven't heard from you for a while. When was it? Thursday? I was angry, you were angry. I was not. Yes, you were. If you weren't, you would have asked me what was wrong. You knew. Ariel, I cannot let this dance happen. Ren McCormick made a lot of people stop and think. I object to that kind of music, and I think you know why. Because people fornicate to it. I never said that. That's what you told the church board. That was not meant for your ears. Well, when did my ears get old enough, Daddy? When did you stop protecting me? I'm no saint, you know. It is my duty to look after the spiritual growth of you. I'm not even a virgin. Don't you talk like that in here. Why not? Isn't this where I'm supposed to confess my sins to my preacher? In church! I ask to be forgiven. Am I? Oh, forgive me and deliver me. Out here. You know better than you're better than you. Oh, thank heavens you're here. People are calling. They're there over at the library. <laughs> Roger! Eleanor, what are you Ripken? doing? We decided these books are influenced. Well, who's reading? Children just don't who's my authority? You have to do yourself agree that this is garbage. Wait a minute, all oh, everybody, listen to me. When did you all decide to sit in judgment? Who elected all of you to be the saviors of everybody's souls in Beaumont? Reverend, we have a perfect right to determine what Roger. our children. When you burned all of these. What are you going to do then? Chris, take these out of here. Satan is not in these books. He's in here. He's in your hearts. Go on home, all of you. Go and sit in judgment on yourselves. Roger, go home. Eleanor, come on. Go home now. Come on, both of you. Sometimes things don't make any sense. If you could explain to me about my father, maybe I could explain to you about your son. But it doesn't make any sense. Look, uh, I gotta go. Listen, uh, I know you're gonna do what you gotta do, but thanks for listening. Ren. Thank you for, uh... Well, thank you. That was your friend, Wren. He came here to ask me if he could take you to a senior prom. Ariel. I know how hard it is.
it is for you. I know I'm not making it easier. I just don't know that I believe in everything you believe. I'm standing up here before you today with a very troubled heart. You see, my friends, I've always insisted on taking responsibility for your lives, but I'm really like a first-time parent who makes mistakes and tries to learn from them. And like that parent, I find myself at that moment when I have to decide, do I hold on or do I trust you to yourselves? Let go and hope that you've understood at least some of my lessons. If we don't start trusting our children, how will they ever become trustworthy? I'm told that the senior class at the high school has got use of a warehouse in Basin for the purpose of putting on uh, a senior dance. Please, join me to pray to the Lord to guide them in their endeavors. Looking in 